Hello, welcome back to Dry Creek Beekeeping. So it's been two weeks since I uh, messed around with the honey supers. So today I'm gonna go back in there, see what they've done, and hopefully we might see some good stuff. All right, starting out with the tallest stack here. This is the one that I'm most confident will have uh, good honey. It already has one full box. Oh yeah. This top box is still very, very much full of honey. I mean, I probably don't even have to look in it, but well, come on, you know me. We got to take a look at one of these frames and see just how good it looks. Oh man. Oh, that is just beautiful. I say it every time, but you can't get much better than that. Holding a frame like this has got to be the best feeling in the world for a beekeeper. And in more good news, I don't see a single drone on this frame. So uh, I think I got rid of the drone problem in the side. Y'all will never believe this, but this box actually looks amazing as well. And that is pretty unexpected because this box two weeks ago had nothing in it. All right, this is the very outermost frame and you can see they actually have capped honey on this very outermost frame. On this side, they really haven't done much, but that's great. That is great to see. Now, <laughs> it is broken. Not sure how that happened, but they are holding it together and they haven't really done too much with prop list here. So uh, it's probably not that big of an issue. I think I might leave that and fix it during honey harvest. Look at that. This is a completely full frame. Every single one of these cells has nectar in it. They just haven't capped most of it. Yeah, really, I think it's just a matter of them capping these cells, and that's it. All right, and sadly, these very last two outer frames on the far outside over here don't have much on them yet. I think that within the next week, they will have all these frames full and probably capped, Maybe not all of it, but the majority of it cap. That is so exciting. As much as I would like to take a look at the second deep super here, I don't think I'm going to today. Uh, they seem to be doing pretty good. Outwardly, there's no signs that anything may be amiss. Uh, in fact, they acted pretty calm through most of this inspection and I've been working with them for about 10 minutes now. So it's around that time where they start getting a little bit mad. So yeah, I'm just gonna throw uh, the Honey Super back on, close up the hive. I'll come back down here in a week uh, just to check on this box here, see if I need to maybe even put another one on, which would be crazy. Next hive up here. Uh, last time I checked on this hive, they still hadn't done much with their honey super. It seems like they're kind of at a point where they're winding down. So they haven't capped any of the honey yet, but the honey is definitely like done. It is truly honey. They just aren't doing anything with it. Yeah. And the same absolutely stays true today. If I put another honey super on that last hive, it's going to be this one because I don't think this hive is going to do anything else with this hive and it's kind of just a waste to leave it on here really at this point. Yeah, you can see the nectar glimmering in there and it is just uncapped completely. Huh. Now that is odd. So I got, I can see this scattered uh, brood pattern here, probably 
bees that are just about to emerge and well nothing else there's no larvae there's no eggs there is nothing which is very strange because just a couple of weeks ago they were fine i can't exactly tell if this is worker or drone brood to be honest uh, but there are some larvae like right over here okay okay we actually finally have a good frame here all right this frame does have eggs but just eggs it has no larvae a scattered brood and eggs and that's it and it's not drone brood i can tell that very clearly and there is the queen yeah she's right there once again extremely dark queen but she doesn't have the dot on her anymore because i remember marking her all right so there is a queen in this hive whether or not is the it's the original queen 100 percent up for debate if the queen got superseded again this is the second supersedure this year with my hives which is bizarre but if that is the original queen and she just somehow lost her mark and took a brood break well i i guess that kind of makes sense regardless of the scenario this hive is way behind so no wonder they haven't been doing anything with that honey super it has a low population it has not enough honey right now to survive the winter most likely luckily we have another honey flow coming up once the ragweed starts blooming but yeah that's kind of not exactly what i wanted to see here i i don't know what to think honestly very very strange it is good to see that they do have a queen though which gives them a way better chance of surviving than if they didn't have a queen and yes i am leaving the honey super on here in the state that it's in it's not exactly something that i would call harvestable um in a week here i'm gonna come back down or probably a little bit less than a week i'll probably come back down in a couple of days and put a one-way entrance down here so all the bees leave this uh, honey super and then maybe i can move this one over to that other hive that's doing better and maybe actually get some good honey out of it all right here is the last of our problematic hives let's see what this hive has got in store for us this is the hive that 100% superseded the queen. Like, I didn't have any doubt in my mind. Man, they are going wild with the propolis. Yeah, there's nothing noteworthy here. It's literally the exact same as it was last couple of weeks. Oh my gosh talk about sticking these frames together well what they didn't do in honey production they really made up for in propolis production oh my gosh this is just stupid You're telling me that the propolis was so strong that it... Unbelievable. <laughs> it tore one of the frames apart. Yeah, all right. That's pretty typical. Uh, good brood pattern. Nothing on this for whatever reason.
All right, well, I'm just going to move right along from this hive. There's really nothing of interest to note. It's, it's doing fine. It's got a decent population. It just isn't doing much with a tunny super, which is A-OK. -okay. As long as it survives the winter, that gives me a better chance of having honey next year. Unfortunately, I wasn't even able to get this broken frame back into the hive because I had to close it up so fast because I was scared for my own safety. So I guess next time. All right, so that was pretty interesting. Uh, the, the alpha hive over here is doing pretty well. Uh, we have two honey supers that I'm probably going to be able to get a good harvest out of. Beta hive, not entirely sure what they're doing. For some reason, uh, either the queen took a brood break or once again, there was another super seizure. And finally, the trusty hive is just acting unbelievably aggressively and making so much propolis. Yeah, I guess that pretty much sums it up. So that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. And if you did enjoy the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.